This is brought to you by Valet Maids Dallas, your Dallas cleaning service. Use code SAVE30 for $30 off your first home cleaning at valetmaids.com. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. Hey there, I hope you're having a great day. Everyone thinks that all of the major companies are based in New York or Silicon Valley, but Dallas has a lot more corporate headquarters than many people realize. I pulled the 2020 Fortune 500 list to see what are the biggest companies headquartered in Dallas. Now I count more than just Dallas proper since most people are willing to commute around the Metroplex. Number five, American Airlines. Headquartered in Fort Worth, American Airlines was number 70 on the overall Fortune 500 list in 2020. This is a two-spot slip from 2019's ranking and moves American behind Delta as the leading airline. 2019 was an uneven year for American, marked by labor disputes and the grounding of the 737 MAX airplanes. The Boeing saga this past year is an example of how not to handle a crisis. A relatively small design issue that exploded into a massive catastrophe. They did not build in margin for human error. This brand new plane crashed twice in the span of about five months. The Boeing situation caused the airline to cancel 10,000 flights in the fourth quarter of 2019 alone. And just as things started to look up, 2020 had other plans for the airline industry. After losing $2.2 billion in the first quarter of 2020 and accepting government aid, American still has to shrink its passenger fleet and lay off employees. The events of 2020 were definitely not kind to anyone in the travel industry, and American was not exempt at all. But at least they're cleaning the planes now, right? So that's something. Number four, energy transfer. Energy transfer is number 59 on the overall 2020 Fortune 500 list. The company was formed in 1996 and became publicly traded in 2004. According to their website, their core operations include the transportation, storage, and terminating for natural gas, crude oil, NGLs, refined products, and liquid natural gas. So simply put, they're an oil and gas company. Energy transfers profits shot up 112% last year, and the company delivered huge dividends in 2019 and early 2020. I hope they enjoyed the good times while they lasted, since 2020 has seen a huge drop in demand for oil and gas and energy services. Number three, AT&T. AT&T is number nine on the overall Fortune 500 list. American Telephone and Telegraph is not just a telephone company, but a media conglomerate who brought us the confusing rollout of HBO Max this year. But hey, we got another streaming service we have to pay for just to watch stuff we could watch on Netflix before, so there's that. Revenue in 2019 increased 6% for the company, but their profits dropped 28% because of merger costs, pension charges, and the changes in value to some assets, plus some other stuff, and that includes the expensive 5G rollout. I'm sure conspiracy theorists probably blame AT&T for the events of 2020 since they think 5G is the culprit of the pandemic in the first place. Number two, McKesson. Just one spot above AT&T on the overall list is McKesson, coming in at number eight. The company is the nation's largest drug distributor and grew revenue last year through more sales, increased prices, and acquisitions. You know, the usual. They did see some losses last year with costs related to opioid-related litigation. McKesson, along with the other drug dealers, I mean manufacturers, are fighting thousands of lawsuits over their alleged role in the nation's opioid epidemic. In February 2020, 21 states rejected a proposed $18 billion settlement with McKesson and the U.S.'s two other largest drug wholesalers. At least with the other events of 2020, no one's talking about the opioid crisis anymore. Number one, ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is based in Irving and is America's largest publicly traded oil company. This number three company on the overall fortune list faced a challenging 2019. 
CEO Darren Woods pinned the problem squarely on the low oil prices. The company earned $14.3 billion last year, which is a lot of money, but that was still a 31% drop in profits year over year, thus causing their debt levels to rise by 24%. My advice? They should stop buying lattes and learn to live within their means to stay out of debt. The oil crash in early 2020 caused further headaches. For Q1, Exxon announced the first quarterly loss in more than three decades. But honestly, most companies have had a rough go at it in 2020, and these Dallas-based companies are no different. So there you have the list of the five biggest Dallas companies. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you get our latest content. Thanks! This is brought to you by Valet Maids Dallas, your Dallas cleaning service. Use code SAVE30 for $30 off your first home cleaning at valetmaids.com. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications.